Hey Book Dragons, welcome back to my channel. I created a tag. Let's go. Thank you to my patrons. I really appreciate all you do to support the channel. So it seems that one of the rites of passage in the BookTube community is to create a tag. And so today, I have for you a tag that I have created called the Book Dragon Tag. And I have created prompts, as all tags have, but I have also answered the prompts myself. You know, I could, I could have just stuck with creating the prompts and let everybody else have at it, but I wanted to throw in my own answers and put myself to the challenge, see if I can actually answer my own prompts. So I hope you all have fun with this. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy my content, please subscribe, like the video if you're getting value out of it, and if you'd like to support me on Patreon, feel free to click the link in the description below. You can join my Patreon and you get some extra perks there as well. Without further ado, we're going to get right to the Book Dragon tag. As soon as I put on my glasses here, and there we go. Are you ready? Let's do it. So the first one is Talendor from Talendor's Guest. My book. Name a book with an enormous library or book collection. And my answer for this prompt is the First Law Trilogy, and it is the Library of Juvens, a, a massive library that pops up in the story, features somewhat heavily in the story, and I really love that library. I found myself reading about it and drooling over it. So, uh, yeah, that, that's my choice for that prompt. Prompt number two, Sephira from The Inheritance Cycle. Name a book or series that involves bonding to creatures. And for this one, I chose Assassin's Apprentice, uh, the, the Farseer trilogy in general, actually. Uh, that is one of Fitz's gifts, is he can bond with animals in a very strong and unique way. And now let's move on to question number three. Drogon, from A Song of Ice and Fire. Name a book series where one of the characters is virtually unstoppable. And for this one, I chose the incredibly infamous Sauron from The Lord of the Rings. Now, we know he's not unstoppable. He can be beaten. But he is virtually unstoppable. He's incredibly powerful and just an unholy terror across the land of Middle-earth. And so Sauron is my choice for number three. Question number four. Balerion the Black Dread which is the dragon of Aegon the Conqueror from Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin. Name a book or series that has gigantic beasts. And for this, I chose the Sandworms of Dune. Uh, that speaks for itself. If you're familiar with Dune, you know the Sandworms. Uh, they easily dwarf five humans standing on top of each other's shoulders in size. They're just massive creatures and fearsome creatures to behold and just awe-inspiring. Let's move on to number five. Smaug from The Hobbit. Name a book or series that involves talking animals or beasts. And for this I chose Aragon. And uh, that would be Sephira and, and really all the dragons of the world of Alagasia although uh, they don't necessarily talk out loud. I mean, it's telepathic talk, but they still talk. So uh, that's the one I chose for that. Question number six. Falcor from The NeverEnding Story. A lot, dragon. Name a book or series where one of the characters is extremely lucky. And for this, I chose Logan Ninefingers from the First Law Trilogy. 
Logan is constantly getting himself into trouble and skirmishes and always somehow seems to make it out alive. And one of his famous sayings that he repeats to himself over and over when he realizes he survived is, still alive, still alive, still alive. So I consider Logan to be an extremely lucky character. Let's move on to the next one. Question number seven, Borsh from the Witcher series. And uh, Borsh is the golden dragon in the Witcher series. Name a book or series with shape-shifting creatures. And for this, I've chosen the Deathgate Cycle series. Specifically, there is a race of serpents in this world uh, that can shift and change into different forms, sometimes human, sometimes dragon forms, sometimes other forms as well. Uh, they can take on the likenesses of different people. So, uh, yeah, that's my choice for that. Question number eight. Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Name a book or series for someone must tame or train animals. And for this, I chose The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. And there are two characters in the book. Uh, they're twins, actually. Uh, the Murray twins, and they train cats for the circus. The twins are a very unusual pair, so I, I highly recommend reading that book. Uh, the twins are great, and yes, they train cats. Number nine, The Hungarian Horntail from Harry Potter. Name a book or series that involves a competition. And for this one, I chose The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games is the competition people getting uh, put into the competition to fight for their lives, and the final winner takes the prize. And a great series, really enjoyed it, and uh, that's what I picked for that prompt. And the final prompt on this book tag is Errol from Guards Guards. He's a, a little, small, puny dragon who can't quite put up much of uh, smoke, let alone breathe any fire, and he just kind of sticks out from all the rest of uh, the dragons that are uh, in his home, and uh, just, he's a really endearing character. So for this one, the prompt is name a book or series with presumed misfits. And for this one, I chose Zachary Ezra Rollins' From the Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern. Uh, Zachary is very much the definition of a loner and a misfit. Always kind of keeps to himself. He's always absorbed in his books. He gets pulled into this world of the Starless Sea and begins to learn things about himself and the reasons he exists. And it's just an awesome, awesome tale. So those are my answers. For my tag. And now it is time to tag people. First of all, if you are watching this and you have a booktube channel or a book blog even and you would like to do this tag, feel free. It's a new tag so I can pretty much guarantee nobody's done it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the tag. Hear some of your answers. I'm going to specifically tag three booktubers. I'm going to tag Fina from Fina Reads. I am going to tag Danielle from Bookcara. And I am going to tag Chris from Chris Reviews. And there you go. Have at it. Enjoy doing this tag. Until next time, make sure you are all reading more books. I'll talk to you soon.